In filming the story of the Tiger Brothers, Kumal and Sangha, the camera has captured some of the most amazing tiger footage you'll ever see. Action! Oh, tiger. But look, when they're small, oh, you can't help it, you know? You just want to cuddle them. And when they're big, you want to respect them. Tigers of all ages were used during the five months it took to shoot this movie. So beforehand, the filmmakers had to learn all they could about tigers. A hundred years ago, there were over 100,000 tigers in the wild, but those numbers have since dwindled to less than 5,000 due to poaching and loss of habitat. All subspecies come from Asia, from the hot, steamy jungles of Sumatra to the freezing cold forests of Siberia. As large as 10 feet long and as heavy as 600 pounds, these large cats are some of the most powerful and dangerous animals in the world. Tigers are known for their ability to blend in. Thanks to their stripes and their stealth hunting techniques, they typically lie in wait for their favorite prey, like deer, boar, elk, and wild cattle. However, back on the Two Brothers set, chicken was on the menu as each of the 30 tigers would devour up to 10 pounds of meat a day. There were so many tigers because the filmmakers needed tigers of all ages and skills to play the movie's big cats. To handle these powerful and complex creatures, the director brought in Terry Le Poitier, one of the world's best and most experienced tiger trainers. I like all cats. It's now more than 30 years that I live, almost 24 hours per day, with lion, tiger, leopard, black panther, puma, jaguar, cheetah. Actor Guy Pearce quickly learned firsthand how lovable yet powerful these big cats are. They're really just like a kitten, except instead of that big, they're that big. And uh, their claws are quite long and they're very strong. One of them bit me on the shoulder once, you know, when I was working with it, and it hurt, but I, I just sort of thought it was pretty cool that I got bitten by a tiger, you know, even though it was only that big. You know, don't be afraid to use several times the same lines because yes, I'm not well, I'm Every kind of eight weeks or something, we had to replace the two baby tigers that we had because, you know, the tigers that were that big suddenly were now that big and they weren't actually going to match what we'd filmed three days ago, you know. So we were constantly working with new animals, becoming very aware of how different each personality was. Some are better at running, some are better at being frightened, some are better at being aggressive. There are two very different characters in the film. There's Kamal and there's Sangha, and they have different personalities. Because of the nature of the film, we were having to sort of swap tigers and use different tigers for different things. We do exactly the same thing as we would do with, uh, with human actors and uh, using the competence of each one. Though humans and tigers are worlds apart, Two Brothers shows us how lucky we are to share the planet with these amazing animals. I hope I don't sound totally cuckoo, but to look at the eyes of a tiger, understand what it has in his heart, is a big help to understand human nature. We share so much. Anyone who has affection for this animal can understand that there is a sharing. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience. 